Virtual festivals are backstage with The View at T4 on the Beach. How are we, boys? Excellent. Yeah. Amazing. Good to be better. How are you doing? Amazing. Amazing. Good. Nice and hot. Yes. Amazing. Nice and hot. Welcome to the greenhouse. It's a bit it's different to outside yeah. in the sunshine. Yeah, it's a bit hot in here, yeah. I feel like you've grown since you've been inside here. Well, I need to grow a wee bit, like. <laughs> hey, come on, you stood next to me. I can, actually, yeah. Uh, so, boys, what have you been up to? No, I was come up from Tina Park. Um, How was it? It looked pretty good. That was brilliant. That was really good. Well, actually, we came up last night. We went to Hooters in Bristol. Hooters in the Bristol? Yeah, I'm a fan. I've been there. It was pretty good. Like, I pretended it was my mate's birthday and they come up and started singing to him. It was brilliant. <laughs> great. Do you frequent Hooters on a regular basis, boys? Uh, first time I've ever been. I never knew it existed in the UK. It was cool, right? So skimpy, skimpy, skimpy t-shirts, skimpy shorts. Would you guys be wearing their skimpy, skimpy speedos on the beach, maybe? Depends, uh, yeah, the depends how much looks, you pay the for it. The water looks funny, <laughs> funny and cold and weird. Yeah. The water in Scotland is much different. The, the water in Scotland is a lot different. It's a lot fresher up there as well. I stepped off, I was like, hang on a minute, it's nice up here. The taps. Heavy on out of taps, that's how it should be for rock stars, surely? Mm, definitely, yeah. Um, now, boys, you've, you've done a couple of festivals, but you've mainly got the summer up in Dundee, is that right? What, what have you been doing? Bit of time off, bit of writing? What's been going on? Bit of time off, bit of writing, catching up on various things. Aye. We're, I mean, it's that demo and we're new records, so we've just been, yeah. And I mean, we've been, we've been rehearsing like mad for these festivals as well, so we do a good show, aye. How, what's the tour bus like? Smells of yeah, well, I, I was pretty minging last night. Or the night before, but the bus driver cleaned up. We helped him as well. Do, do you guys do you wash when you're on tour? Do you choose not to? No, well, you uh, some, sometimes. Yeah. It's to be like it's an unwritten rule that you could go the furthest there. <laughs> but now we, we try and get a shower as much as you can. Yeah, we're, we're nice. Hygienic, we're good boys now. Really? Yes. Yeah, but you try not to wash too much because your hair goes out funny. So like, you've got this like the sort of dirt. What, sh what shampoo do you use at the moment to get that look? I wash it, eh? Just leave it and let it, let it do it itself. That's what the cavemen used to do. The cavemen, I like that. Um, well, boys, listen, you're you know you're doing pretty well. What's the biggest blag that you've ever had to make? Um, They're thinking. Blagging, blagging the first well, first gig with uh, Pete Docherty before we had the record deal. That was pretty big blag. That's a pretty good blag. Any others? And are you getting a little bit more famous, a little bit more established? You don't have to blag when you're in a, ba in a, in a band. Can't right. Best freebie. Best freebie. Best for me. Um, come on, boys. An iPhone case, not even an iPhone. You get given an iPhone. Who's got an iPhone cover? Huh? Uh, Dior. Dior gave me I gave mine to a hobo in Oxford. <laughs> I really regret it that I was drunk and I woke up after the bus and I was just, I went, oh, he needs it more than me. And then he, I gave him it and then he went, no, I need money. I was like, well, keep my seat back. He went, no, I need that as well. That's that very nice of you. And we got them for playing with Noel Gallagher at the Royal Albert Hall. So we got Dior dressed up and then. I gave it to Hobo. I really regret it. I love that shit. Uh, well, I mean, fans often throw a lot of stuff at crowds. Uh, fans often throw a lot of stuff at bands. What's the best thing that you've ever been thrown? I don't know, in Japan, we got, I, I, we done like two shows in Japan, and one of the nights, like, my, my jeans burst, and I had to keep pulling my jeans up like that, and then the next night, someone threw a belt on the stage. That was pretty handy, because I had the same pair of jeans on. You had a belt. What about pants? Have you had pants and bras? Yeah, there's pants and bras yeah, all over the place. Um, Shoes are the weirdest one, like. There's always like shoes. Yeah, there's always loads of shoes that get through on the stage, just like one. No, it's normally bad things that get through on the stage. Okay. Do you give your fans any anything nice? Uh, our music. Yeah, well, I know, but a lot of the, a lot of bands do fan giveaways. You see, these days. Uh, what would you give? What would you give? Days out and stuff. You could like win a day out with us. Day out with the view. One bike an hour with fans, but we got really drunk and then they were refusing to let me drive the quads. I, can I come quad biking, please? Yeah, man, I'd definitely come quad biking with us. Definitely. We're going. We're going canyon, and you should come up to Scotland and do it. That's. It's a date with the view. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> nice one. Well, boys, thanks so much for speaking to virtual festivals. Have a little shaky of the hand. Maybe we'll have a team high five. Nice one.